Many doctors report more and more women are taking hormone replacement therapy. Many women take it to help them deal with hot flashes and other menopausal symptoms. New at 5, health specialist Denise Dador reports there could be another benefit. When Mary Beth Sweetman entered menopause, she struggled with fatigue. And hot flashes and um, not being able to sleep, just the usual symptoms of menopause. But something else also kept her up at night. Mary Beth started feeling the effects of osteoarthritis. A lot in my hands and knees and and my hips. She's been on hormone replacement therapy for 11 years and she says her joint pain is much better. But now I have almost none in my hips and my hands are really okay too. It's anecdotal evidence researchers at the LA Biomedical Research Institute wanted to study more. So they looked to the Women's Health Initiative, the largest ongoing study of nearly 162,000 participants. Nearly 11,000 women in the study take estrogen alone. After reviewing the data, researchers found women who received estrogen only reported a significantly lower frequency of joint pain than women who received the placebo. After three years, up to 5% of women on hormones continue to report having less joint pain. Yet critics like OBGYN Dr. Mark Surrey says if estrogen reduces inflammation or bone loss, it's not well understood. And this study should not be reason enough for women to start taking hormones. Patients should discuss the risks and benefits with their doctor. There's a medical evaluation that these people should undergo before automatically assuming you know, that, that they should just start taking estrogen. Past studies on long-term estrogen use has been linked to an increased risk of breast cancer and ulcerative colitis. Mary Beth says you know, she's I looked at all the pros and cons. I think there's so many studies out there that can, will tell you either way, but honestly, I think you should try it anyway because I think there's a lot of benefits to taking hormone replacement. In Beverly Hills, Denise Dador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.